For the record, would you state uh, your name once again, your full name? Yes, Monica Samil Lewinsky. Monica Lewinsky was patient zero 20 years before the Me Too movement. A potentially damaging cloud is hanging over the The White independent House. counsel investigation that began as the investigation of the Whitewater case in Until Arkansas. Until that moment, it wasn't part of an active federal investigation into a U.S. president. Now expanded to include allegations of sexual misconduct by the president in the White All House. All of those things combined created the perfect storm. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Supporters of the president are reeling. The allegations are completely untrue. And his enemies are ready to pounce. This will be the most widely disseminated uh, public document in history. She may even cry when she relates the most intimate details because she is said to do that you just every feel well. naked in front of the whole world. Bill Clinton is going to be remembered for all of the things that he did in eight years at the White House. Monica Lewinsky, she's going to be remembered for being Monica Lewinsky. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Ms. Lewinsky. These allegations are false, and I need to go back to work for the American people. Thank you. That's what happened to me in 1998. That woman was born. In 1998, I was at CNN, and I had just moved from show producing on the weekend public affairs shows to the news desk. Not long after I moved is when the Monica Lewinsky scandal started. In 1995, we started an affair that lasted on and off for two years. That, I guess you could say, was the golden bubble part for me. The nasty part was that it became public. Public with a vengeance. Charges of sex, lies. And so the President takes. Clinton had an affair with a former White House intern and then urged her it's to lie about it. It's about sex and it's about the president. This is something very, very serious, a criminal proceeding. Wolf Blitzer was Friday. the senior White House correspondent for CNN at the time. John King was there as well. On Capitol Hill, Candy Crowley, Bob Franken. In the anchor chair, you had Judy Woodruff, Bernie Shaw, Frank Sasno. Everybody was trying to navigate this very new territory. Blitzer, CNN. My memory is yes. of a lot of scrambling, a lot of chaos, people, including myself, being sent to stakeouts. The cameras were all trying to get a glimpse of this young woman. This 24-year-old Southern California native finds herself at the center of a legal and political fire. The seat's getting kind of hot here. <laughs> Certainly not something I studied in journalism school. Thanks to the internet and a website that at the time was scarcely known outside of Washington, D.C., within 24 hours, I became a public figure, not just in the United States, but around the entire globe. This was the very first time that the traditional media was usurped by the internet. I was patient zero. You can go on stage and you can talk about healthcare and you can talk about <laughs> racism and, and religion and things, but boy, oral sex, people love to talk about and, and if something, presidential oral sex, that's just, my God, that's the Yeti. That's the, <laughs> that's the grandpappy of all things to talk about. I remember watching my colleagues struggle so much with how to say these things on television. How do you even describe this? About the, uh, the uh, sex acts. Sources say the tapes failed. include Lewinsky's graphic descriptions of a long-term sex. Some of them saying, if you have a child watching, you might want to turn it off. In today's times, that might not seem that shocking, but at that time, 20 years ago, it was. Overnight, I went from being a completely private figure to a publicly humiliated one. There was a rotation of worsening name calling and descriptions of me. The number one possible first line for Monica Lewinsky's new book, Me and My Big Mouth. On the President Clinton's things to do list. When having an affair, pick someone good looking. <laughs> It's just a little unclear. I mean, adultery, what exactly does that mean? The focus was on the president. His defenders were on his critics. And Monica Lewinsky was just caught up in it. How would you feel if your son brought home Monica Lewinsky and said, Mom, I'm going to marry her? Nobody took a step back, nobody, and said, wait a minute, what about this young girl? On the phone to congressmen, 
at 2.30 in the morning while Monica's blowing him and he's eating pizza? I was like, thank you, Mr. President. There's no question that Monica Lewinsky was described the way women have been described for generations and for centuries when it comes to powerful men. She was described based on her looks, based on her actions, as a floozy, as a slut, as somebody who was not thin. I think with a show like Saturday Night Live, there, there is no such thing as poor taste. But is there any, Kevin, consideration that, let's say, Monica and her family are going through all this trouble, they're watching, and you're doing a joke about her weight? I'm finished talking. <laughs> <laughs> that was very typical for 1998. It's not that different now, except, and we've seen in more recent times in the Me Too movement, that she would be more respected. I really believe that, and she was so disrespected. Why is this funny? Why is it funny? Why is it funny? I mean, it's sense um, tragic. It, 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 no one gets hurt. How on earth did this happen? No, no, no. A sexual harassment case brought against a sitting president, brought by someone else, not me. Paula Jones was one of, but not the only, original accuser uh, of Bill Clinton. She sued Bill Clinton for sexual harassment. It was through the, those proceedings that a prosecutor asked Bill Clinton, who did testify uh, in and about the Paula Jones case, whether he had a sexual relationship with Monica Lewinsky. Bill Clinton said no, and that was not true. And because that was not true, the independent counsel caught him in a perjury trap, and conservatives had to get Monica Lewinsky to say so in some way, shape, or form. History unfolding in the nation's capital today as a somber House of Representatives voted for only the second time in American history to impeach a president the of the United is States. perjury lying under oath. The issue is obstruction of justice. When somebody is impeached by the House, it effectively means that they're indicted. When somebody's indicted, it doesn't mean that they're convicted. It means they're indicted, and then they go to trial. The House effectively indicts with impeachment, and then the Senate has the trial. This is not rocket science, folks. I've tried murder cases. A lot of us have tried some serious cases. I think you can present this case relatively quick. The evidence suggests that the president deceived the American people in his speech. I've never seen so many uh, tearful Republicans in my life. Uh, they've been after uh, President Clinton and trying to chase him out of office for years. Lying under oath after swearing before God and country to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth is an impeachable offense. Ken Starr started with a lot of right-wing support. Violators are subject to a sentence of up to 10 years imprisonment for obstruction and five years for perjury. I remember so vividly women in the president's own cabinet coming out of the White House and defending him even when they knew what frankly, he did was wrong. I believe I that the allegations are completely untrue. And I think the American public wants him to do his job. Because I have watched him in action on issues that have such a vital impact on this country. And if you think about that, in today's day and age of Me Too and women who don't differentiate the way they did then between a person's policy and a person's personal life, it's remarkable. I am greatly disappointed in the raw, unmasked, unbridled hatred and meanness that drives this impeachment coup d'etat. I think he's apologized as much as anyone can apologize. Uh, he admits it's wrong. 38% of men, 50% of women, blame a right-wing conspiracy for the president's problems. By contrast, 52% of men blame the president's own behavior for his problems, while 40% of women blame Mr. Clinton. The reason liberal women said that they were coming out to support Bill Clinton is because he very much supported abortion rights, because he supported family uh, leave policies, because he supported other policies that women said were incredibly important to them. Our vision should be of an America where abortion is safe and legal, but rare. We will not stand idly by while a Congress made up of nearly 90% men attempts to remove the first president elected by women voters. I think what a lot of women fail to see was there is something more than just the policies 
there are women that are in these individual situations who also need to be defended and protected. Today, didn't we? The long-awaited release of Linda Tripp's secretly recorded conversations with Monica Lewinsky. It was Lewinsky. just girl talk, but it was talk about the President of the United States. It is a source of gr great embarrassment. It revives all of this just two days before the House Judiciary Committee Linda is Tripp scheduled. Linda Tripp was a mentor of Monica Lewinsky, somebody she trusted, she worked with. A so-called friend who had surreptitiously audiotaped over 20 hours of private and intimate phone chats. I, I can't take it anymore. I know, I know. <laughs> it turned out that Linda Tripp was helping the feds. Monica, I'm just saying that we have to at least consider the possibility that he's going to call you today. Linda, he's not going to call. I know he's not. Could you do me a favor, and if you do get a call, call me? This is what my world looked like. I was threatened in various ways. First, with an FBI sting in a shopping mall. One minute, I was waiting to meet a friend in the food court, and the next, I realized she had set me up. I was threatened with up to 27 years in jail for denying the affair in an affidavit and other alleged crimes. 27 years. Years. One of the reasons you, your agents, uh, held Ms. Lewinsky was that they that wanted. That is, I, I, I have to interrupt. That is the, that right, premise I was not is meaning false. Be she was said. not held. We treated her with dignity and with respect. I wonder she, how many sorry. of your accusers have read the log that was kept of every minute of that day. A lot of the players that became stars, frankly, back in 1998 are still front and center now. This is a circus. This whole two-week effort has been a calculated and orchestrated political hit. Revenge on behalf of the Clintons. The Brett Kavanaugh part of that is really, really interesting because he did encourage Ken Starr, who was his boss, who was the independent counsel looking into Monica Lewinsky, to ask the most salacious questions about their relationship. This grotesque and coordinated character assassination will dissuade competent and good people of all political persuasions from serving our country. And as we all know, what goes around comes around. The shoe was on the other foot during his confirmation process, and he didn't like it very much. The irony is pretty real. Former White House intern Monica Lewinsky speaks to the grand jury. I was called upon to testify to a room full of strangers on unimaginably intimate details of my life. She may even cry when she relates the most intimate details because she is said to do that every time. Unimaginably intimate details which were later made public in a report online. The Monica Lewinsky transcripts were hard to read because there were very detailed step-by-step -step questions about their sexual encounters. I just remember thinking, I can't believe this is happening. It was largely about a perjury trap. It was also about embarrassing the president. And in the course of it, obviously, it embarrassed her. The president, unlike Monica Lewinsky, will not have to walk past that media circus and walk into the federal courthouse. The president will do his testimony here at the White House, although it will be shown to the grand jurors live. You touched another person on the breast. If the person being opposed uh, touched the genitalia of another person, would is that oral sex performed on you uh, within uh, that definition as you understood? For almost five hours today, off and on, the president spoke to the Ken Starr grand jury. And the moment of truth for President Clinton and for the American people. Indeed, I did have a relationship with Ms. Lewinsky that was not appropriate. In fact, it was wrong. And now we have in our hands the pages of the Star For our Report. viewers, it is already available and accessible on, at CNN.com, at our website. We've heard bits and pieces. The experience of shame and humiliation online is different than offline. It honestly feels like the whole world is laughing at you. When the Star Report was released online, I was holed up in a New York City hotel room 
with my Sony Veo laptop and a horrifically slow connection. Staring at the computer screen, I spent the day shouting, oh my God, and I can't believe they put that in, or that's so out of context. And those were the only thoughts that interrupted a relentless mantra in my head. I want to die. One of the people on the House floor said that this will be the most widely disseminated uh, public document in history. So One of my I, most yeah, vivid memories was watching the iconic, inimitable Candy Crowley be, be given the Ken Starr report um, and just starting to read it things, cold. Ms. Lewinsky was concerned because the gifts were under subpoena, but she did not throw them away because, quote, they meant a lot to her. It is the not just a indelible Korea, memory of mine and my career, it's an indelible memory of the nation and a really important moment in history. Ken Starr lays out his fundamental case against the President of the United States. He the writes, removal of a president requires approval by a two-thirds majority of the Senate, or 67 votes, but a simple majority of 51. It is therefore ordered and adjudged that the said William Jefferson Clinton be, and he hereby is, acquitted of the charges in the said article. I want to say again to the American people how profoundly sorry I am for what I said and did. It's not that Monica Lewinsky was a, a positive character that's got a raw deal. Sleeping with any married man, never mind the leader of the free world, next to the Oval Office, probably not a good idea. Having said that, the way she was described, the way she was treated in the wake of that, you wouldn't see that today, nor should you. Do you I, feel I like you owe her an apology? No, I do, I, I, I do not. I've never talked to her, but I did say publicly on more than one occasion that I was sorry. Thank you. Bill Clinton is going to be remembered for all of the things that he did in eight years at the White House, and he did a lot. That is going to be his legacy. Monica Lewinsky, she has been doing really great things to help people who are victims of bullying. She's been writing, and the fact that she has been able to thrive and survive is a testament to her. But Monica Lewinsky, she's gonna be remembered for being Monica Lewinsky. Do you ever have the thought, I am history, I'm part of history? 